upload this on YouTube. And if you guys say in the comments, take it. Like, take the offer. Take the offer. And I'll do it. Then I'll buy the blue for 11,000 DNA. Guess who's back? Back again. Uh, it is the probably the 17th return video. But, like, here we are again with Jurassic World The Game. I'm Soundrack, as always. And there have been, I mean, a couple of things. First of all, from the last time that I've recorded, I haven't actually cared about showing everything on camera. So I have actually played a bit off camera. The main things I've done have been to level up Mazutoceratops to level 40, as well as hatching a couple of things. I don't quite remember. It's been a while. I've actually been playing Jurassic World The Game, but not on this profile, on my main profile, where, to be all completely honest, I enjoy the game a lot more because... I'm a lot further down and stuff. But anyways, that is besides the point. In today's episode, let's just catch back up with what I've been doing, shall we? So, first of all, in our hatchery, we have a couple of things to collect. Sundrifteris, uh, our least important thing. I'm working towards a level 40 to get this mission done over here. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I think I'm evolving the creatures that I'll need to do that. Yep, Gallimimus will be our next level 40. Rare herbivore or level 40 herbivore in general. Let's evolve that. And for our hatchery, I've put in two creatures. First of all, let's hatch blue first. A brand new super legendary, fairly decent in terms of stats. I mean, it's not necessarily going to be a game changer. I have quite a couple of super legendary now. I think this is a bit worse than beta. And we also have Tyrannosaurus Rex, who we already have one. So this will be our second T-Rex, and I am planning on evolving this guy because obviously T-Rex, I actually got this in like a really lucky way because you know in the, in the battle parts how you have season packs. Uh, not season mystery, season chance packs. I got the T-Rex from this pack. And if you look at the chances for it, it is less than 1%. And I would... I mean, I, I don't really want to say that it there was the same chance of getting a super legendary, but I would absolutely take that T-Rex any day of the week. That was super clutch, I reckon. We're going to get a level 20 T-Rex. It will be one of our strongest creatures, actually. Just below the VIP creature. So now I've collected all of the coins. Let's refill our hatchery once again. No point hatching any of the commons or rares. We're going to hatch a super rare. Now, it would probably be of interest to, let's say, go for Supersaurus, who I can make a level 30, or Spinosaurus, who I can also make a level 30. Or Stegosaurus. Let's go Stegosaurus. I'll make a level 30 Stegosaurus next. Uh, we'll also get some legendaries in here if I have any. And I do. Microbosaurus, Unisaurus. We also have Ichthyostega, Triceratops Gen 2 Blue, and two Indominus Rexes. How can I forget? Okay, you are wondering, obviously, how many bucks I have left. Why is it only 308? Well, I don't have a screenshot of the event, but a couple of days ago, like a, a couple of days, I think it was a couple of weeks ago actually. We had a tournament, no, no, not a tournament, a special gyrosphere, and it was the Indominus Rex gyrosphere. And I mean, that was very cool, obviously, because with the Indominus Rex gyrosphere, you had a chance if you spent a thousand bucks to go in there, and if you win, you get a guaranteed Indominus Rex. I did it twice. Obviously, I spent a little bit more than a thousand bucks each time because I didn't really want to risk like losing that would be horrifying so instead of like risking it and maybe losing i would heal up my creature back to full at the end to beat the final stage or something and it would cost like 1250 bucks so here we are with 308 bucks but on the up on the bright side we have two indomus rexes ready to hatch and i don't even have a level 40 t-rex i haven't made it i'm unlocked indominus we're just gonna have two level 10s in the park and that's I reckon that's pretty cool. What I'm gonna do actually, it would probably be best to throw in Microposaurus. Considering 
Oh, uh, or maybe Unisaurus, considering we probably need more herbivores. And it's very quick to hatch. And I'll obviously do these off camera. We're also going to put in... Well, one of these guys. Uh, I reckon I, I kind of want to make a level 20 blue. But at the same time, Indominus Rex, man. That has to be our strongest creature, surely. It, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. Whether you want blue, whether you want blue or Indominus, I think I'm going to go with Indominus. It is six, it's seven days. And you know what? I might as well... Actually... I don't know if I actually want to hatch them both, because if I do, it might upset them. Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's hatch Triceratops Gen 2. Now, I'll tell you the reason why I decided to do this. It's the same amount of time for both ones. It doesn't really matter. But the reason I chose to hatch Triceratops Gen 2 instead of another Indominus is because the difficulty of your battles are based on your creature's average strength. And if you have really, really strong creatures on top, well, then the battles will be really hard because your creatures, the game's like, oh man, this guy has super strong creatures. We have to make the battle hard for him. Even though that might not necessarily be the case, Indominus obviously would be miles ahead of the competition in terms of strength. It's a level 10 legendary hybrid. My strongest creatures right now are level 10 super legendaries. Uh, I mean, VIP creatures. So yeah, that's probably why I'm going to do that. And let's finish up our new developments by getting a solid gold pack. If I could, I would love a land creature, or a Jurassic creature, and if I could pick what class it would be, I would really appreciate, I don't know, let's say an amphibian. I don't have an amphibian yet, just give me one of those. It's not an amphibian, it's actually Baryonyx, uh, but we do get 500 bucks and loads of DNA was a bit of loyalty points back so you know what i will take that baryonyx i mean fairly middle of the park vip creature nothing amazing also nothing horrible we'll take it we'll take it we'll take it <clears throat> and let's hatch hatch let's head into the battles today there is one event that is ending in one hour and 35 minutes that i really want to do and that is the colossus of canada pack and the reason why is because if you look here we have a 36% chance of winning a Gorgosaurus, and this is a super legendary, it is a carnivore, which is a little unfortunate. We could also win a Montosaurus, but I mean, it would definitely make our team a lot stronger. We know, oh, actually blue is better than beta. I see. We do have the lineup it would take to beat this, I believe. I mean, look how look how many super legendaries I have. We have our three VIP creature core. Oh, well, actually, I, I, do, I did have an amphibian. <laughs> My bad. Tapijarosaurus, and then a bunch of super legendaries. We go down here, we have our couple of stronger level 40 rares, and then our legendaries, level 10. And then we go down here, and we have our level 20 super rares. So it is a serious depth. I reckon we can take this on. Let's head into the first battle. We'll start off with Caprasuchus. Actually, do we? I reckon maybe what we can do is go for a power play. So basically what I mean is I'm going to go for a team that is just going to kill these guys as quick as possible. So Sarkasuchus should probably do this job nicely. Either that or Postasuchus. And then Struthiomimus comes in and these guys need a carnivore. Let's put... Actually, I, don't, I really don't want to put blue into action because even though it has a lot of attack, the health being low is a bit scary. And I really don't want to lose because that's a million coins. I do have 23 million, mm -hmm. but still. So let's head into it. To jungle first, obviously, our meat shield. I mean, this tactic is used throughout the game and all the way up until the end game. You are still going to be using meat shields like this. You're still going to be choosing whether you want a quick battle or like a, a like a longer one where you go for blocks and reserves on your first two creatures. This time I'm opting for a quick one. It's basically the same. Like I, as I said before, I've been playing on my other account, the one where I've spent like five years on, uh, probably more actually. I think I've played since 20. I mean, I started playing in 2015, but I didn't really play often until like 2018, 19. So there we go, Street Three Moments goes for three, in comes Cryolophosaurus. And that account is pretty far along now. Um, the strongest creature is a level 40 Capijalosaurus. 
so I mean not bad to be honest but not amazing either it's level I think it's level 89 or something like that or like 79 I think it's 79 89 is a bit high Skyrakosaurus Lux doesn't go for anything let's finish this off and I look, look listen 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 about the upload schedule I really do want to upload more often but like the motivation man it's just been lacking right I haven't had I haven't been very motivated to upload and then like every single time I go you know what it would be great to start up the channel again I get hit with like 75 assignments but I mean listen I don't I can't I can't make promises on when I plan on getting back into the swing of things it's just like it'll, ha it'll happen when it happens we'll make a level 20 T-Rex and then maybe Shinosaurus maybe Ichthyostega when we get that maybe Pranazukas actually that's not too bad so anyways Gorgosaurus switches into Scaff Gaffernathus kills and then these two okay this is a little bit scary actually these two who will kill them i mean probably gonna have to use a really strong creature there are three battles uh, left including this one so i think it should be fine i don't think yeah i can't one shot <coughs> all right yeah and as for school and stuff i mean i've been doing well this term has probably been the best term i've had since last year so, I mean, it's looking up in that department, I do have like, a year and a half left to go until I graduate from high school. So that's pretty hype. Once that's done, I mean, I can basically do what I want, but I'll just be making money and stuff. I've just been recently, I mean, I have a job, so I've been working that once a week. And then, other than that, I've been starting to play Dota. If you know what Dota 2 is, I've been playing that a little bit. But other than that, I just kind of laze around all day. It, it doesn't really sound great when I say it, but you know, it, it is what it is. It's what I'm doing. Like, Styracosaurus Lux can actually kill Gorgosaurus here because. Of Never mind, I forgot about that extra block. That's a little bit awkward. It'll go for four. Oh, never mind. Okay, you know what? I mean, I take those. So now Eupocephalus goes for 5 and Mastodon so it finishes it off. Oh, not 5, but actually 3. That's very interesting. I mean, it would it would be scary if I went for like blocks. Who does that? I mean, we're just going to finish off this Eupocephalus. Two more battles until we find out if we get the Gorgosaurus. I mean, I'd love to. At this point in time, I swear, the game nowadays, it gives you so much free stuff. At level 45, you have like a billion, like you, you have no chance of winning the tournaments at this level, obviously. Because look, look at, look at the creatures I have, right? Zero chance of winning a tournament with these. I mean, some people have like rushed their creatures and they win tournaments. I saw a guy in the Jurassic World, the game Discord server, who won, um, what, what was it called? He won the Gorgosaurus, uh, not the Gorgosaurus, sorry, the Gorgosuchus tournament. And I thought that was super impressive because I was like, man, this dude won that, man. <laughs> and he was like level 40, I don't know, man, 43 or something. He was ridiculously low level and man had like a level 20 super high, yes, level 20 super hybrid thing with Monostegatops as his strongest creature. And I was like, God, dude, that's actually a, like a stronger creature than my strongest in, in my level 79 account. Some people are just, some people just play the game differently, you know? Me personally, I focus on missions. I think missions are pretty cool. I think they, like really, it's the way the game is intended to be played, to be played by the missions. We're actually gonna kill this right now and fire off the blood grasps. And this guy, man, Diplos Erasmus puts in the work in this park. If this thing has carried me through thick and thin so far. I think it's probably going to continue, to be honest, because I mean, it's just so strong. I mean, eventually, when things get really difficult and I can't really use it as much, I'll get... I don't know why I went for an extra attack. I'll just evolve it to level 20, and it'll once again be super strong. As for blue, I mean, blue's decent. I have another one, so I can make a level 20 blue. That would be pretty cool. And it would be a pretty strong creature. 
I don't really understand the idea of putting like Echo back in the game because Echo died in the film. And that doesn't really make sense to me. Since that was the reason why they didn't put Echo in, in the first place. Especially in like Jurassic World Alive, I think it was. They really hesitated to put in the Raptor squad because those guys died in the film. And this one's just all herbivores that should be really easy. We can finish this off in about two seconds with our carnivore team. And once we've done this, we will know whether or not we win the Gorgosaurus. I hope we do. But, I mean, knowing my luck, maybe not. We've spent a lot of the luck on the T-Rex. Alangosaurus goes for two. Alangosaurus, by the way, is so strong. Like, this guy, this dinosaur is super underrated. It's so cheap to get. And, like, once you get it, it's about the same price as the Super Rare. I mean, I suppose you could just get Super Rares. But it's also useful in the fact that in like the, the food pack challenges You might want like a really strong sweeper just to sweep over like one stage or something Oh my god voice crack <laughs> And a Langosaurus is your, is your dinosaur Usually the other level common hybrids they're not, they're not great They don't have a lot of attack for their health And they can't always one shot all of the level 40 commons but Langosaurus can, and it's pretty awesome. So there we go. It looks like Crylophosaurus took home the win there, and we have the, our pack. A 36% chance of getting Gorgosaurus. Please. No, we got food in game. No. Oh, we got an Ankylosaurus. Oh, that hurts a little bit. Oh, man. Oh man, that's just not cool, bro. That's not cool. Oh man, oh. that sucks, bro. That sucks. We had a thirty-six percent chance that we couldn't get it. Thirty-six percent chance. Then Kylosaurus was rarer than the than the oh, than the Gorgosaurus, but. We got this guy instead. Now we have three. Uh, which means I'm very close to a level 30. But I don't care, man. Uh, we could have had Gorgas first. It could have been awesome. Let's move Blue over here so she can be closer to Beta. Beta. There we go. And uh, there we go. More mother and daughter. We'll hatch the other Blue later. Uh, basically once uh maybe it'll be what wait hold on what's this an offer oh 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 guys 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 eleven thousand one hundred seventy five that's not worth it right there's no way that's worth it there's no way that's worth it is that is there any other offers it also reminds me of of another offer that I took while I was playing off camera. It was the level 40 Monolophosaurus. I'll show you guys that in a bit. The other day when I was looking through, I saw the, an offer for a level 40 Monolophosaurus for only 11,000 DNA. Or like, it was something pretty cheap. It was, it was not expensive. And I was like, man, I gotta take it. I don't think it was 11,000. 11,000 is a bit high, but I took it. We have a level 40 Monolophosaurus. We can fuse this to make Tappy Jalosaurus because I have a level 40 Tabby Jara already and it, it could be awesome. I'm not going to do that yet though because Monolophosaurus by itself is already super strong. This guy is just so good. 689 health, 215 attack. Like we got that guy basically for free. So do I spend it guys? Do I spend it? I mean listen, we have time. I'm, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. We have time. We, it's, I think it ends in like a day. A day and one hour, okay? And if you guys say in the comments, take it, like take the offer, take the offer. And I'll do it, then I'll buy the blue for 11,000 DNA. If you don't, then it's okay. If you say, you know, don't take the offer, it's not worth it, I won't. That seems fair, it will give us plenty of time in tonight. I mean, I'm kind of afraid nobody would watch this far. But I mean, look, if you do, then leave a comment right now. I'm just gonna end the video real quick.
But yeah, uh, that will be it for today. I mean, we made decent progress, especially off camera. We got that level 40 Monolophosaurus, level 40 Nazutoceratops. We got some super legendary creatures. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we could not get the Gorgosaurus and instead got hit with an Ankylosaurus. That's a bit of a shame. But yeah, I mean, that will be it for today. And I'll see you guys in future streams and videos.